Hello guys and welcome to Star Drive and this is as you know a game we've already played I will uh, put the link to the other game, uh, the other video in the description this is uh, 1.05b which is an upgrade from the 1.03 which you played and oh, one second I must go turn down the sound because I mustn't turn it down further enough so I'll be right back so as you can see I had to go and turn it down from my main menu screen for the volume and because they haven't actually put it in yet <coughs> I have played the 1.06L version and that has you know the, uh, the option controls and the sound effects and all that kind of stuff so basically we're going to do what we did last time we played the human faction last time and that seemed a little bit easy so I thought we might go for someone like this. I mean, I am—I must say, I am mostly what these guys are. They're skilled engineers. These guys as well—they're very good. Uh, these guys are good. I'm going to go with these guys because I am more of a shogunate type person. <clears throat> we shall leave it as named that, and we shall have a flag like that. Okay, we're going to make a green. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we're Savage. Savage. Savage races gain a 20% bonus in ground combat due to ferocious temperament and various lethal physical characteristics. As well, uh, I think that's about it for that page. <clears throat> then we have uh, Metculus. Races honor the actual profession. Earning a 25% bonus to tax income for their attention to detail. Skilled engineer race races with a natural engineering in uh, inclination. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I can't pronounce half these words. Build sturdier ship components, resulting in a 20% overall increase of ship module hit points. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's it for that one. And then we've got militaristic races with strong military traditions that are prepped and ready to meet alien threats. As a result, they've been in the game with, a, with the military outpost, arm theory, and heavy fighter hull technology. And then, of course, we have the prototype flagship, which gives us basically a prototype flagship. And then we have honest, which isn't good because honest races do not understand the concepts of secrets and such have a minus 10 uh, penalty to all agent roles. So we're going to play as them. <clears throat> we're going to have it on an epic galaxy. We're going to have it on seven opponents. And... I could have it normal. Like right, that. There we go. <clears throat> Must have a drink. You might be out here at physics. But yeah. This race is somewhat like, again, somewhat like the Klingons. You might say from Star Wars. They're very honourable. They're very, um, they believe in the old ways, kind of like, what's this one? Ooh, a tundra. Awesome. That's a poor tundra. I uh, know. Tundra, tundra average. <clears throat> so we are going to, this is our prototype flagship. As you can see, it has, actually, that's not, okay, it's shielding. Doesn't really have anything else that might be considered um No, it just has guns on it. <laughs> you know, average normal guns. <clears throat> right, we are gonna send our scout out to scout. <laughs> you guessed it guys. God, you guys are too smart for me. Way too smart. I might have to kill you later. But maybe not. Yeah, this guy just fires when he freaking wants to. So basically, you have like your main guns at the front, which fires them big things there. And you got these tiny guns there, which fire at random. And I'll be right back actually, because I need to turn off my Steam, otherwise, I'm going to have pop ups all the game. I'm now pairing offline, so that should give us a bit more privacy, baby. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we just have to wait for our scout to discover some more shit. Okay, that is shit actually. Why did you why did you have to discover Libot? I don't want Libot. You fool. What's there? Ooh, that's got a beer. That's, that's quite good actually. Ah, uh, it's Oceanic, so that's understandable. <laughs> Oceanics always produce a lot of food. 
Because if you find a, a, like an ultra rich ocean, oceanic world, you're lucky. I, I have yet to find one. And I've played this game quite a bit now, guys, so I know roughly what I'm doing. Roughly, roughly, I'm saying roughly. And I'm actually going to try to get this at full resolution, so I'm just going to stop it here. I don't know how this is going to run when we um, eight times it, but uh, let's have a look. This game doesn't really like it's pretty well optimized. Well, I got a good PC, so <clears throat> until we start seeing other races, and then it might start getting a little bit, you know, laggy. Oh, there's a 4.1, there's a 4.8, they're ultra rich, yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. Alright, so now we have this one. <clears throat> and of course, this will produce a lot of, a lot of food, which is good because a lot of food is important for, um, actually getting more populous in so I'm going to let that just generate food over time <coughs> sorry about that guys, got a bit of a cough we're going to export that but we first need some traders alright so let's make free traders should do for now and then we're, oh, we're going to tell right so this guy is going to deliver only that this guy is going to deliver both, and this guy is only going to deliver. Oh, oh, shit! That. I think I think he's only delivering that. It should work. I hope it does. Okay, now okay. Oh no, he's the one doing both, isn't he? And then he's yeah, okay. All right. So now they should. That guy should be picking up production only. That guy should be picking up whatever he wants, and then this guy doesn't really need to pick up any food because the guy is already producing like. 0.7 <clears throat> every turn which I find is good so they won't take any unnecessary resources and we also have this oh that's a lot of planets actually but none of them I don't really want uh, ice rich is quite nice to have Kappa's alright oh I've already found someone go away <laughs> go away I don't want to meet you yet god oh they've already okay so that means they're uh, they're pretty fucking close. Okay, they're all the way up there and they've already freaking colonized all the way down there. <coughs> Which is a bit gay of them, but still. I might just go colonize most of these planets over here. Right, that's a 1.3, so we want to do that one first. And then leave these other, because we don't want this barren, well, we might get the barren average, we don't want that. Because that's just fucking ultra poor. You don't really want ultra poor worlds. They're the waste of time. And then we'll colonize that because that is very, very rich in other stuff. This one has 0, 2.1. And that's, uh, these are, that's very, very fucking poor, that is. Yeah, ultra poor. Okay, ultra poor, very fucking poor. Same thing, guys. Come on. Honestly, God. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Now these guys are going back doing nothing because this one isn't actually building anything currently. We might as well build these things here. You can now actually have the option of um, doing anything in a list. So if, even if you have a list like that long, like the full width, you can still rush something down there if you need it quickly. Oh my god, we are pumping out so much food. And they just declared war on us, which means they're a bunch of bastards really, aren't they? Oh well, that's good. I don't really think it was a wise idea to go up against me this early. Even though they do have the economic, uh, I mean military advantage. But I can simply just fucking mass produce ships, I know I don't care. I think this is the one I want, isn't it? Yeah. That's uh, one, two, three, oh, how many? You want that many? You want that many? Right, so we got this. And then we also have this guy. You still under my goddamn control? How do I exit off him? Really good control. Okay, right. So now we can actually go all the way over to here and then just fuck him over over here a little bit. <coughs> Because we can generate some troops if we can. Yeah, we can. 
just leave them to uh, boil over sometime. Uh, we need to increase our. Oh fuck, we haven't even chosen this fucking science thing, have I? Um, I'm gonna take that first and then that. Because I really need that science up mostly. Move in, man. None of us actually have shields yet, so it's a pretty, pretty even battle, I would say. My other ship won't be in yet because he's quite heavy. I don't tell him that though, it upsets him. My ships are quite actually quite big, so they're taking a bit of a pounding. But they do have the more guns, which is nice. As soon as my other ship gets in there, it's just we party over. They've actually called in more ships, which is awesome. I think I'm gonna actually control this one. If I can get there on time. Jesus, <laughs> There's so many of them. Okay, come on, concentrate, Tony. You have to impress your your subscribers by doing the best that you absolutely can. Okay, maybe I shouldn't control them. <laughs> you know, best not. You know, you know, screw it. Okay, how do I relinquish control? And there we go. Now go kill them. In the meantime, we actually want to be making more of those because that is very, that's a that very early engagement that we have going on there. Let's go back over there, get back over there. Actually, are they even, they are, like, okay. My one ship has shield, so it's going to be fine for the time being. That ship actually better fucking retreat soon. What are you doing? No! Dude, you better run. Better run. Okay. Now you better run. Hopefully he'll go away soon. No, he's gonna die! No, don't kill my friend! You bastards! Douche, douche, douche! Oh, I didn't hit that! Hit him! Oh god, that guy's gonna die! Just go! Fucking repair your engines and just go! You idiot! Jesus Christ! Kill him. No, he destroyed him. God, yeah, you bastard. You bastard, you son of a bitch. Right, so while those guys fight, we can, <laughs> we can focus on this a bit more, you know. Yeah, we don't care. Fucking ten. That's where it's at at the moment. Let me go so we can do that. We also got this guy up here that are probably going to need to start getting some sources in. But currently we want it to at least have, there we go, at least one. So that it can uh, save up. <clears throat> What's this guy doing? My god, you're a freaking moron. You're fucking five ships on you. Jesus, that is actually a lot of ships. Huh? <laughs> That is probably not too good for him right now. Yeah, you're you're just kind of dead. <laughs> uh, 
idea we mean. Now they go again. Now they're all going to come down here. I better actually pull my men back. See what they're doing is they're making loads of small ships like flak fangs. But the only thing with these is that these are right there. Look at them. Do we only see need this there? Do we only see need that there? Yes, we do. Okay, we need that one there. Ah, oh, who designed these? How about a Vulcan? See, Vulcan ones are even better designed. Let's get a load of Vulcans. Just stop. Oh my god. Okay, they have their own fuckers. They have their own fuckers. 